The Big Bowl Show has arrived. Shine them shoes and polish that brass. The final general gridiron of 2015 has arrived, and we're going to have a frontal assault on the top 20 bowl matchups of the season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Welcome into the bunker of General Gridiron, Bill Marshall of Football Forecasting. We're about to map out the way this college football bowl season is going to go. Will your favorite team be marching to victory, or will the enemy be taking your battle flag? On last week's show, we went through the list of lackluster teams suiting up in games between now and December 28th. But when Tuesday the 29th of December arrives, you better grab your helmet and man those battle stations, because those are the games that will be the ones to watch, including the semifinals. So, load up for another round of General Gridiron's football foretelling. Up first, we're going to reverse the order of battle on this finale edition and start with our quick picks of 10 pretty good bowl contests. So fix bayonets and storm the field. Air Force Carpet Bombs California and the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. In the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl, Colorado State butts heads with Nevada. In the Birmingham Bowl, Memphis embarrasses Auburn. Mississippi State rings in 2016 in style against NC State in the Belk Bowl. Louisville out quarterbacks Texas A&M in the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl. In the National University Holiday Bowl, Southern Cal rides over Wisconsin. In the Tax Slayer Bowl in Jacksonville, Penn State claws Georgia. Arkansas wallers over Kansas State in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Arizona State sticks a pitchfork in West Virginia in the Motel 6 Cactus Bowl. And in the Outback Bowl, the Big Orange of Tennessee squeezes past Northwestern. Now on to the top 10 bowls of the holiday season. North Carolina versus Baylor in the Russell Athletic Bowl. The Baby Blue Bunch is still crying about a phantom flag thrown in the ACC championship game, and they have a right to be. But the resurgent Rams need to focus on the future, and a win over the Baptist General Convention of Texas's Big 12 representative will make the UNC faithful forget all about the other sport now in season. Art Bryles' KG team will try and put a pretty face on in Orlando, but the old North Staters will be the ones leaving sunny Florida with a win. The Generals' victor? North Carolina. LSU versus Texas Tech in the Advocare V100 Texas Bowl. The Mad Hatter's Christmas gift came in late November when the powers that be in Baton Rouge decided to keep him in charge for the new year. With a new lease on life, Coach Miles and the Bayou Bengals are loading up their P-Rows and heading west to H-Town for a tussle with the Double T Mask Riders. Coach Cliff's Lubbock Legion ride into the state's largest outpost on a two-game hot streak, winning a thriller against the Longhorns in the regular season finale. In this contest at NRG Stadium, Leonard Fournette's going to take out his Heisman frustration on the Big 12 troop, and a purple and gold Mardi Gras will ensue throughout the establishments of Montrose and downtown. The General's victor, LSU. TCU versus Oregon in the Valero Alamo Bowl. A top 15 tussle is on tap in Tejas. The home state horny toads arrive in River City with a little shell shock. Despite leaping to an 8-0 start, the Cowtown Christians had a ho-hum November, and as a result, they're not returning to the New Year's Six pageant this year. Meanwhile, the Ducks, flying high at number 15, quietly rattled off six straight victories to end the season, including a W over rival Stanford and Palo Alto. Colonel Travis and Davy Crockett just might have to come to the rescue for the Republic of Texas's representative in this Alamo Bowl skirmish, cause the green and yellow of Oregon's going to make the home crowd thank Santa Ana's armies back in town. The General's victor, Oregon. The Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl featuring Michigan and Florida State. Wings Beer Sports is the catchy marketing shtick of this game's title sponsor. Sadly, I'm not sure if any of these fun options will be awaiting inside the Citrus Bowl. The water lizards will crawl out of their nearby swamp and seriously lack a potent passer to go along with a stellar defense. The Yankee Varmint comes south with questions aplenty surrounding the three setbacks they encountered this fall. That dang punt block against Sparty. An intriguing thing to take notes on during this New Year's Day date is the comparison between first-year head coaches Jim Harbaugh and Jim McElwain. So, the sports part is a big mystery, but surely to goodness chicken wings and ice-cold refreshments will be on hand for those in attendance to ring the New Year in right. The General's victor, Florida. Still to come on this General Gridiron's Big Bowl picks, the New Year's Six are chock full of excitement. We'll tell you all about the order of battle, so keep it here with General Gridiron. Because you want more flavor, at Nukes we marinate and grill to perfection. Because you want the latest culinary tastes and trends, we never rest. At Nukes, great food drives us. 
we are meticulous in our preparation, obsessed with the quality of our ingredients, and uncompromising about serving you our very best. We believe that sharing a memorable meal is one of life's ultimate pleasures. Join us at Nuke's Eatery. Howdy, soldiers. This is General Gridiron back with you. Each week, this fabulous football forecast is heard on some of the finest radio stations in America, including 1530 Solid Gold Soul, WASCAM, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and KTIB AM640 in Thibodeau, Louisiana, the Bayou Region's Information Authority. We appreciate all of our radio affiliates. Now, let's get back into the football fight. Ohio State versus Notre Dame in the Battle Frog Fiesta Bowl. First things first, what the heck is a battle frog? It appears it's a company that offers obstacle race courses around the country, in addition to fitness training and nutrition help. I guess battle frog's a good reminder to assist those of us who have that New Year's resolution to lose a few. The two teams competing in this run in the desert didn't have to exercise too much, nor jump through too many obstacles. The Buckeyes narrowly missed out on the chance to defend their 2014 national championship, and the Irish were beat by a total of four points in two hard-fought road contests against eventual Power 5 conference champions. And you'd think these two superpower neighbors would meet fairly often, but this postseason battle is the first contest between them since the 2006 Fiesta Bowl, and only the fourth game between the two since World War II. Although this one ain't for the marbles, Urban Meyer knows how important it is to end the season running the right battle frog course. The general's victor, Ohio State. Iowa versus Stanford in the Rose Bowl game. The fighting Ferences may have run out of defensive gas in Indy, but there's enough in the offensive tank to get them to Tinseltown and topple the left coast liberals and the granddaddy of them all. Yes, it was a heartbreaking setback in the Big Ten championship game, and the Iowans were this close to playing in the playoff, but an appearance in the Rose Bowl game for the first time in 25 years isn't a bad consolation prize. And if you're wondering, Herky the Hawk hasn't won in the Rose Bowl since 1959. That ridiculous-looking Stanford tree thingy will really be spinning circles this New Year's Day, wondering where the closest exit is. The General's victor? Iowa. The All-State Sugar Bowl in New Orleans featuring Ole Miss and Oklahoma State. The New Orleans City Council just voted to remove prominent statues of Generals Robert E. Lee and Pierre Beauregard, as well as Confederate President Jefferson Davis. The Crescent City's Confederate cleansing is making the Johnny Revs of Ole Miss wonder if they're even going to be welcomed in the Sugar Bowl for the first time since Eli and Peyton's red-headed daddy was under center for the red and blue. Not sure how the politically correct politicians feel about cowpokes, but the Okies ain't letting the hysteria and Big Easy burden their trail ride down from Indian territory. OSU is ready for NOLA. It's been 70 years since then Oklahoma A&M suited up in the Sugar Bowl, stampeding the St. Mary's Gales 33-13. When this one wraps up late on New Year's Day, will it be a carving of Pistol Pete or Rebel the Black Bear replacing the Robert E. Lee statue at Lee Circle? The General's victor? Get to chiseling that old poke. OSU wins. Florida State versus Houston in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Congrats to the Americans' Houston Cougars, the first group of five program to crack the New Year's Six lineup of bowl games. The felines prance into the Big Peach with a chance to end 2015 on the right pole. Jimbo Fisher's 10-2 Tallahassee Tribesmen are feeling a bit lucky, too. Their ACC credentials, coupled with Clemson's competing for the big trophy, got them into this chicken-licking encounter. And trust me, on this second trip to Atlanta this season, the Knowles won't be lining up for a 56-yard field goal attempt to end it. The Generals' victor in a doozy, Florida State. Now those were some mighty fine gridiron contests, but I know y'all want to know who the Generals' picking to win the war. I'll tell you in a moment as we wrap up this year's General Gridiron with the big announcement. This is General Gridiron back with you. We've already maneuvered through a batch of big bowl games coming up in the next few days. Now it's time for the pair of CFP semifinal showdowns in the Capital One Orange Bowl. Clemson versus Oklahoma. Heisman finalist Deshaun Watson and the upstate South Carolinians return to the Orange Bowl for a chance to move into the big game and win the school's second national championship. What a difference a year makes. At the 2014 Russell Athletics Bowl, Watson was injured on the sidelines and watched his Tigers demolish the Sooners 40-6. Number four will be on the field this time as Bob Stoops' Boomers hope a shift south to Miami Gardens will give his team a chance to win in advance. 
This New Year's Eve happy hour special will be an instant classic with the felines roaring into 2016. The Generals victor, Clemson. Alabama versus Michigan State in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. Nick Saban coached the Michigan State Spartans in the late 90s and left lovely East Lansing for the greener pastures of Baton Rouge. In this year's semifinal contest at AT AT&T Stadium, Saban's current employer ain't worried about the seasoned coach feeling sorry for the Spartans. At $6.9 million a year, the Tide is cashing in on their investment and hope this year's semifinal Super Bowl will turn out better than last year. The Cotton Bowl will be the final football game of the year 2014, and when the clock strikes midnight, yay Alabama will segue to Old Lang Syne. The Generals' victor, Alabama. So, the general forecast Clemson and Alabama in the CFP National Championship in Glendale, Arizona on January 11th. And which Dixie football factory emerges with the big hardware? The general's big victor. Roll Tide. Alabama gets number 16. Well, that does it for the 2015 edition of General Gridiron. You can now put your swords back in their scabbards. We'll be back on the air the first week of September for the start of the 2016 college football season. Can't wait. This is John Rawl, the General of Gridiron Glory, thanking you for letting me rally the troops this season. General Gridiron is a production of CRM Sports. For more, log on to crmsports.com.